Hello everyone, today I want to start a series that I will do weekly or maybe once every two weeks where I teach you how to design stuff that you can laser cut it. So I will uh, teach you maybe how to do these kind of signs, love signs that you can very easily sell or maybe uh, put it on Etsy and make some profit or this kind of children room sign. You want to give a gift to a friend, some beer packer that you can put here beer and carry them. Or maybe these kind of boxes. So uh, I'm thinking uh, today to start with something simpler and just improvise. I want to do a cake topper. Uh, like that happy birthday sign you put on the cake so let's try to do that from the beginning uh, I didn't prepare at all for this so I will show you pretty much all my process that I usually do for this kind of stuff so for these projects I will use Adobe Illustrator this is the software that I use for vectors to make vectors because as you know the laser cutters works only with vectors so I will open my Adobe Illustrator and I will create a new canvas. Let's do a canvas in centimeters or millimeters maybe. 300 by 200. This is my uh, laser cutter size. So I will know exactly what size the sign I want to make will be. All right. So first thing, I will go to dafontdafont.com and uh, I will choose a font that I want to use. I think something, no, no typewriter, ca calligraphy. Yeah, calligraphy or handwritten. Yeah, maybe handwritten. And I will search something that it's uh, like in one piece because when you uh, when you write like happy birthday it needs to be in one piece so it doesn't get uh, ripped or okay I think calligraphy will work better mm, maybe something like this like cream cake okay also you might wanna search for fonts uh, that are a bit bolder because if you use like this one and you cut it then uh, you will have a very very thin wood or uh, material and uh, it will be easily broken so maybe like birds these birds of paradise or billion dream but here you see uh, are many letters that are not uh, into each other um, I think I like this Amarillo and I think I already used that in the past and I will so I will download it and extract it all right and now I need to put in Windows fonts I will put here the font okay so I already have it but uh, this is the process to add a new font in uh, in your system all right so Amarillo let's go back to our canvas okay I usually choose this essential classic workspace workspace because uh, I have all this stuff here and there okay Let's choose now Amarillo from our fonts and type here happy birthday and make it bigger. Let's have a name for this birthday. Uh, okay, I have a friend. that uh, her birthday is very soon so I will use 
her name. And let's choose also some number because she's turning 30 years old. And now let's uh, let's put this all together somehow um, to be in uh, like in one piece. Okay. So maybe I will do this Georgiana bigger uh, and put happy birthday on top of it something like that and this 30 will be right here something like that maybe hmm? yeah i think i think it should work but maybe this happy should be here we're getting there if this a little bigger maybe this a bit smaller Okay. Hmm? Something like that. There are many spots that I think would will be very thin. So I will uh, make it a bit bold. I don't have here bold, but I can increase the stroke a bit. I can uh, create outline. Click to unite. So all these overlapping paths to combine with, with each other okay and now i want also this stroke to be included because now it's not included in the whole path and actually it will cut right with this line on this line so object transform arrange oh okay here it is so expand it expand the fill and stroke all right and now again click on unite so now we have like a bolder shape with thicker overall paths you can see there are some areas that were not converted perfectly and now selecting this pen tool i can delete all of these um, imperfections in this tool path all right now let's Unite this happy birthday with Georgiana. Firstly, we create outline because now it's a font. Then again, we click on unite to make all the shapes come together where they are over overlapping. I can see here this A is not really connected with its H, but this P will be connected here. But however, I would connect this also to make stronger so i just can create a, a square and put it here and uh, select all of this and unite okay and something like this maybe delete this point and we have a nicer yeah now it's united uh also this is that from i Let's ungroup this and select it like this. And I think this is the best way to, to unite this boat. Mm, maybe more because otherwise this will be on the air and okay. And let's make all of this shape a big thicker. So let's repeat the process earlier with Georgiana. Uh, stroke it a bit object expand okay and unite the only thing i'm not sure about this birthday has a connection only here with y and is not really okay so i think we need to put an additional connection to maybe put here some uh, something like this to to have a stronger connection and maybe here Mm. Or maybe with this. Okay. Mm. Or maybe mm, maybe I can ungroup this and drag it. I think that's pretty good. And I have connection everywhere and should be a very strong. Uh, very strong. Should be <laughs> very strong. <laughs> All right. 
let's convert also this font to outline. We can do a bit, we can do it a bit thicker, maybe to have a connection also between the numbers. Let's expand it. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Nice. And we can do all of this, maybe put it aligned in the right hand side. Now let's unite. Uh, usually for lasers, the red is cutting. The red meaning red 255 in, uh, in color mode R RGB. This should give the laser the instructions to cut the outline. And yeah, we can uh, remove the fill. So basically, this is what will be cut. To make it like more of a topper, we should put something like uh, this here. Or maybe we should, we can split into parts. So uh, we can do something like this and then continue a bit more and uh, glue it each other to have uh, like mm, this stick to put in the cake. I can take the knife and do maybe one cut pressing the alt button here and one cut here. It doesn't have to be perfect you know. Okay, I think it's perfect, yeah. <laughs> Delete this. And yeah, it, it will be something like this, then. Okay, let's also combine this with this. And um, this will be glued afterwards here. Let's put it 90 degrees and maybe make it larger. Perfect. Now let's save it. Let's save it as SVG because this is what my uh, the K40 Whisperer that I'm using uh, accepts. So I will happy birthday top topper. So we can save it as SVG, enter on K40 Whisperer or whatever program you have for your laser cutter, open design file, open the SVG and you should see something like this. Brilliant! So I guess now let's uh, move to the laser cutter and uh, see how it goes and see what, uh, what product we've uh, just made. Thank you a lot for watching, if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing, like it, comment it, ask any questions and maybe give me more ideas on what to do next, uh, on what you would like to see and if you like this, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see if I'm still recording. Okay, I'm still recording to 22 minutes. Stay in this video because now we're going to laser cut this. Thank you.